you know, that goofy look a lot of YouTubers make. So three things I want to talk about again, as I do in my gaming news videos really quick. IGN sat down and played South Park Snow Day with Matt Stone. And this game seems like it's going to deliver a really good value for money. In my personal opinion, you're going to be able to choose from, you know, random skills and stuff like that. It's kind of roguelike. It's going to basically promote some high replay value as long as you enjoy the gameplay loop. Naturally, if you watch the video for 15, 16 minutes, you're going to get a much better impression. However, there are some randomized elements. And that's essentially what I wanted to bring to your attention here is just that this might be a little bit better than what you might think, hopefully. And for the price, don't let that fool you into thinking this is some Walmart bargain bin video game. It might just be worth your time. So that's that. When it comes to Rise of Ronin on IGN, they have done a final preview video and basically say that it feels like the exploration of Assassin's Creed 2 and storytelling with a little bit of Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, however you want to pronounce it, uh, combat, and a little bit of Dark Souls difficulty. And speaking of the difficulty, there is going to be three different levels of difficulty. There is going to be easy, there's going to be medium, or easy, normal, and hard. So for me, that's amazing. You're on a boss. You're having a hard time kicking the crap out of Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry was one of my favorite actors who sadly passed away. That was on Friends. I don't think that was a reference to him. But anyhow, I'm actually really looking forward to this. And although they say, and I kind of agree, it may not seem like it's got the, the visual polish of Ghosts of Tsushima, this may be less Ghosts of Tsushima than you may think. As people just see the setting... They see the characters and they go, oh yeah, yeah, this is Ghosts of Tsushima. When it's probably not at all going to play like it. I mean, at the end of the day and night, it's a third person sword wielding slashing game. So I do understand the comparisons, don't get me wrong. So I am actually, because of this video here, because of the final preview, I am actually a lot more excited for this game than I was originally. And last but not least... There is some gameplay oh, here. That retirement has oh my god, I don't want a copyright strike. Top Spin 2K25 is going to be coming out. And I believe it's coming out really soon, like April the 26th. And it says here, I played an hour and I quickly found that while it lacks the top shelf presentation its predecessors had in previous console generation, it still plays fantastically. We've got uh, Andre Agassi there. I don't know if we're going to have like Jimmy Connors and other old school players there's about 20 real life um players superstars whatever you want to call them and i'm actually really excited for this truthfully i mean i played mario tennis you could see there the presentation the graphics they don't look exactly like oh my god but you're also not playing an open world game like witcher 3 so then the argument could be made well even more so should they have made the game a little bit nicer looking uh the last generation is holding back us new console generation is what some people will say just to, like for this generation sorry ps5 and xbox series supposedly allegedly people say and claim that this is the worst generation in terms of being held back by its last generation aka xbox one and ps4 i totally see both sides to be honest with you i'm a fence swinger when it comes to this i can see the argument as to why people would think that because you're taking away resources to still cater to the you know the last gen and some people have made and i forget off the top of my head the, the points and it seemed to potentially make sense as to how that argument apparently can be debunked easily either which way we are entering half a decade into this generation it's going to sound rude, but it's it's time to pull the plug because I tend to lean more on the side that it is probably affecting us uh, having the PS4 and Xbox One peasants still around. Uh, you know, I'm just joking around. You don't have to take everything I say so seriously. But for real, though, I think it does hold it back. There's a lot of games in the last five years that have come out, and I can't tell if it's a PS4 or PS5 game. game. 
there's not always like a, oh, would you look at that? And like going from PS3 to PS4, I was like, oh yeah, PS2 to P you know, so on and so forth. This is probably one of those like, eh, yeah, looks good, whatever. I'm excited for this, is the point. I, this kind of just came out of nowhere after, what, a near 13-year absence? Since uh, the last game, 2011-ish? Ish? Was uh, when Top 4... Top 4. And I almost said Top Gun. <laughs> top Spin. Uh, 2K... Whatever it was called. Uh, top Spin 3 came out. So I'm going to be definitely keeping an eye out on this as I actually do very much enjoy tennis. I used to play tennis, not professionally, obviously, or you'd be asking for my autograph. Uh, but I used to play it quite extensively, oh, probably a lot more than you realize. And I had a friend who almost, uh, hey, I've already made, I've already talked about that. And I had a friend who almost made it semi professional or you know like a league below you he, he was getting up there yeah there you go top spin four from uh, 2011 so those are just the three things i wanted to bring to your attention that i thought were newsworthy naturally not everybody's going to care about the exact same gaming news that i share on a daily basis and and that's fine right uh, video game reviewers and people that talk about gaming news like spawn waves and your acgs and all that and your rgd 85s they never really talk about the same game twice, and they're having no problems flourishing on YouTube. I'm having a hard time, but I'm having a good time. Thumbs up, by the way, if you did enjoy the video, because it actually does help with the algorithm and trying to make me a little bit more relevant in the search results. When people are looking shit up online, this is a lot more than just a happy feel-good moment that I get seeing three likes on one of my videos. And if you didn't like it, it's okay. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll bend it in half, twist it, and I'll break off a prince racket right off inside of your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, exactly, exactly, you know, you know what's up. And if not, that's fine too. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Perhaps if I'm lucky, I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.